This is the perfect elevator. Want a multi-floor version of this one? It's absolutely perfect. I've been staring at it all day. I've been wanting a better elevator for my survival world, and I'm going to show you how to make this one. The key thing is it's smaller. Notice that it's only four blocks high. If we come over to our original basic 2x2, you'll see that it was a bit bigger on size. You might remember this elevator, which I did a cinematic tutorial for. It's only one wide on the side here, but that introduces a lot of complexity, so it's a little bit of a pain, and I kind of want it to keep it narrow so it's only one or two blocks wide. See, this is like seven blocks across. So I came up with a better system. This one is only three blocks across, it's almost two, and you can just run some on the inside. And so it makes it very easy to do a multi-floor elevator with this wherever you put it. And then you can chain the buttons together so that you have recall options. I know that's been really important to people to have recall, so it's something I took more seriously this time. Here we are in my survival world, and I've actually finished a version of this elevator for my own use. Let's take a look here. So we've got some up and down buttons, and we can see that it's down there. So if I hit the up button, it should come right on up. And it comes up to that floor, and now we're going to make it come up to this floor. Notice that I put item frames behind the button so that I can have up and down arrows. Makes it a little bit easier to tell what's what. We can go all the way up like this. And now we're up on the fourth floor with our librarians. And then we can go down as we please. And of course the recall works exactly the same way when you're down there. I'll show you. So let's go down as if we're underneath it. Whoop. And... Now we're down underneath it, and we can actually call it downward. Ta-da! Now let's get on to the tutorial, shall we? Now to build this elevator, you're going to need eight slime blocks, three observers, and two pistons. So let me build it out to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose the side you want it to have blocks coming out of, where you're going to stop it, and you're going to put a sensor like this. This observer is going to send a pulse so that it can detect it and stop it whenever it needs to. Now, wherever you want to put the faces for starting it to make it move again, you're going to place them like so the other way, and that's going to give you this little corner like this so they look opposite ways. Now, whatever you do here, you're going to need to put the pistons in the proper places. So for the top one, we're going to want it to go down, and for the bottom one, we're going to want it to go up. Neat, right? Now let's get to the good part. Grab your favorite non-sticky block, like obsidian or glazed terracotta, and you're going to build out two blocks here. I'm going to start with a repeater here. And what this is going to do is this is going to detect this observer as it's coming down, and then we're going to power into this block for when it's coming back up, so that we have two ways to stop it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a double piston extender, and we're going to reach out and stop it with a piston. So we're going to put this right here, and that's going to fire out underneath it and grab it so that it can't go any further. We'll go, eh, no. And in order to power this, we need a five tick pulse. Now, where are we going to get a five tick pulse? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a three tick here. We're going to put this into it. And so that is three ticks. And I'm going to send a signal down around the side. And this will be four ticks. And because the three tick is getting there first, it's going to stack onto it so that it becomes a five tick pulse. So, that already should work. I can demonstrate by putting in an observer here and firing it, because now you'll see, ba boop and you don't need the slime, but doo-doop, ta-da. Now to stop it going up, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put a block here, and we're going to run this signal across, but we don't want that to connect, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop down and put this here, and I'm going to look at this and send the signal this way. And with these two, we're going to have a grab block that's pushed out, but the thing is, it cuts off this signal, so you need to use glass or stairs. You could use stairs if you wanted. Something that redstone will pass through, and that should be all it needs. And now, whenever we update this signal, it's going to do that. Now you see how it gets stuck there. We don't want it to get stuck there. We want it to do both. So what you will do is we'll put redstone dust like that. And that's going to add a second tick, so it'll fire at two ticks in a row. And it just goes in and out, in and out. Let me prove I'm not crazy. So first we'll start with it going down. And you'll see that it does go down like we wanted. And then you'll see, yoink! And it puts it there at just the right tick so that it tries to move while this is on there. And it's too many blocks. This is exactly 12 in that direction. So it's 13, so it can't go any further. And now when we go up, and show it coming back down, whoop! Now sometimes this piston can be left behind, and we don't want that, 
So in order to prevent that, add another tick delay on it, and it should be just fine. Let's try that again. See? Oop, and it stops. I'm going to make another one of these up above, and I'll show you how a recall button works. I'm just going to throw this out there. Any build you can do from memory is a good build, man. Now, as you can see, I've got some redstone dust here, which is how we're going to send a signal from some buttons. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other floor. You need to be back a block so that they're not being grabbed by the uh, thing. You can do that if you want. Doesn't matter. And so what we want to do is we want to chain these together. Now, I want you to think about the process of recall, because what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that it's the wrong side and it goes the opposite direction. Because when we are recalling it, think about this for a minute. When we're recalling it, it's it's above us if we want, and we want it to come down. When it's below us, we want it to come up. And so what we're going to do is on these ups, we're going to send a signal downward. And so these are going to look up like this. We're going to have a downward signal. And then on the on the side that's going down, we want it to go up. We send an upward signal. Does that make sense? And that's going to give us the ability to chain all of these together. Let me fix these. Now the problem with this is we can't simply put redstone like this because the problem is they're going to connect. We want two separate signals. So what we can do is we can have this right here, but instead we can break this and we can go downward. And because these are hollow, we can actually look down like that and it will be able to flow through this crack. So now you've got yourself a signal, especially if we put this here where this will go down and not affect this one, and this one will go up and not affect this one. Now, those are inverted, obviously. We're physically going down with the up, and we're physically going up with the down. It's very easy, so what we can actually do is we can actually detect right here, and that should be all we have to do for up. So now it'll pull it even when it's down here. So the other signal, as we said, we wanted to send a signal across to over here. So what I could do is I could actually run it this way if I wanted. And we could, we can't do that. What we could do is we could go around, or we could just pass it through with a, with a uh, observer like this. So we could do that if we wanted. That would do it as well. It would be an easy way to disconnect it. And we'll just connect this all the way up to here, and we'll do it the same exact way we did before. So now you've got a signal running all the way around. I said all the way around. You don't want that going up, that'd be weird. And that should do it. So now now it routes from here to here, down through, over and around. And so it'll send the signal. So now it'll go down. So let's, so I'll prove it to you. And so now this is gonna send a signal when we hit the down button. It'll go around and through. So let's show that recall. It's already working. We can go and hit the up button, and it's going to send a signal down to the bottom one, and then it'll come all the way up. And then we can come down here, and we can add the same thing we did before. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up these buttons. We're going to put a signal right here. And we're going to put a signal underneath right here, like this. Oops. Like this and that. And see, it's already working! We'll wrap this around through just to show that it is, in fact, working all the way. Right here. And if you want to make it less compact and you just want to swing it all the way around the hard way, you can do that. You don't have to do it like this and be all funky. You can keep it, if you, especially if you need to save nether quartz or something. Your miles may vary. And so these both should work all the way up and down. And so now I can actually hit down here. And it's going to continue on downward to the next one, if there was a next one. And so... This is that, oops, wrong one, that one. So now you can see that it stops at this level. And if we want to recall it up here, we can just hit the up when we're on this floor. And then it'll come up. And if we were down here on this level, we wanted to recall it downward. It's going to send that signal up there, and it's going to come down. And you can add as many of these sections as you want. You could do it again and again and again and again. What you want to do is on the bottom layers and top layers, you want to just not connect it to go down any further or not go up any further. And that will be all you need to do. So it'll be a partial stopper. Does that make sense? So you just get rid of the parts that you don't need. 
I'll be making the schematic available on Patreon, or you can always subscribe and join us on Discord on my survival server and see it in first hand. See you in the next video.